Hello, everybody. Hello, Cosplay World. We're with John Mills. John Mills, and we're at Cod Con, and we're going to talk about LARPing. You guys have a pretty nice group of LARPers. Um, so you've been here for how many? Years? This is actually our first year. First year, okay. I could have sworn I saw LARPers last year, but maybe they were a different group. Okay. So you want to tell me about your organization and uh, your uh, schedules and things like that? Sure. Our uh, our game is called Fantasy Revolutions LARP. We're a steampunk. Fantasy LARP game, mm -hmm. which we combine the high fantasy and steampunk together to give you a unique gaming experience. So you're not a part of like uh, the main source skills, but you do you do a lot of fun stuff, right? Yes. Um, like, uh, how would you say you differ from the main the main hardcore skills that can be kind of hard to get into? Well, our game is basically a beginner friendly game. Um, it's not one of those hardcore games or the straight uh, melee fighting games that you see with other LARPs. Mm -hmm. We're more of the, again, more of the fantasy role-playing type, which we go back to more of the spirit of the LARP game instead of the high combat. So the, the rules aren't really as a, as hardcore, right? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, and then you have, you can, I, I believe you were talking to me earlier and you said that you can kind of pop in and out of this and you don't need to do any kind of no. like... Um, paperwork. You, would you, you? What's the kind of what kind of thing would we have to do to join you in one of your events? Well, basically, as you just, uh, show up, uh, we give you a, uh, a level to start off with certain skill points, mm -hmm. and you create your own character sheet, and that will be your character throughout how long you want to play. Uh, there is no membership required. Just show up, play, and have fun. So you have all the all the, like paperwork and the tools on hand. So, yes. Yeah. Um, are people free to bring whatever they want, like chain mail or whatever? Yeah, they could bring in their own armor, like I'm wearing right now. They could bring in their own costumes, rumble into our many races and different type of cultures that we present in the game. Mm -hmm. oh. Every weapon they bring in, though, however, will be inspected and must meet up with our safety standards of our rules. Okay, that's fair enough, right? Yeah. We don't want anyone getting hurt. <laughs> so, uh, this is your first time here at Kakon, then. So, where do you normally meet up, then, if you're uh, doing this? We have uh, monthly events uh, starting in uh, March and then ending in November. We are located out in Yorkville. Uh, we also play in uh, different park locations, but right now our camping location we're using currently is at Hoover Park. Okay. And uh, tell me, is it just tents or something, or what is it? Well, right now Hoover Park provides you with uh, with a cabin that can uh, sleep bunk beds for 38 people. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have additional uh, primitive cabinets that can see, uh, sleep for four additional four more people for each uh, cabin. Okay. And we have uh, two uh, tent camping sites. Oh, and well, then um, that would mean it's a weekend event. It's a two, three day. What? How long is that? It's basically a two day weekend event, starting on Friday and uh, at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. and ending at Sunday noon. Okay. Uh, and uh, how much is it walk in the door, or what? How much does it go? Our events are twenty-five dollars. Okay. Plus additional fifteen dollars for uh, scheduled meals. Okay. Which gives you basically two breakfasts and two dinners and lunch. You can have it anytime you like it in with our a la carte menu. Oh, and you, you just have that out, or is there a scheduled time? It's a we have it out. Okay. And uh, like I said, the scheduled times for breakfast and lunch for, mm -hmm. depends on the hour and days. And then I'm pretty sure all that money goes towards the renting of the cap and all the food and all the license. I'm pretty sure you need to run the ground and all that. Yeah. Yes. We are a nonprofit group. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, how many people would you say you get every month? Is it yeah, every month? We re, re average roughly between 20 to 25 players, depending yeah. on certain months happening in the year. So it's a good size group without all the craziness of like having meetings at the beginning of the day to see what faction you're in and all that. Correct. Um, yeah, it's not bad for, I would definitely say for a beginner LARPer, it's something to just hang out, have fun with, and all your friends. Yeah. It's definitely a nice social game. Okay. Um, let me see. Would you have a site or a place or a forum or? something to lead people to, to know where they can get more information or regular updates or something yes. like that? You can try our website at www.fantasyrevolutionslarp.com or you can check us on our Facebook page at Fantasy Revolutions LARP. Um, if, you know, in a, in a sentence, how would you describe your group's play style? Our group's play style, basically, we are very, uh, we're very open, friendly people. Uh, we like to, we like to welcome new players. We like to take care of them and 
show them how uh, how our game is, even people who have never LARPed before. We like to give Melissa sort of a tutorial or how LARP feels like in a sense. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you're new and you want to like, just hang out in the campsite for, I guess, a weekend and have some fun with some other good people, this, would, this sounds like a good choice. No. Um, oh, well. I think that would be it for this segment. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, cosplayers and cosplay world, and I guess the library world, because they're in there too. So I'll see you next time. Good times to all. Mm -hmm.